Pylon Tech have seen our videos. So um, we had to get onto our supplier, actually threaten them with uh, legal action, and then things really started moving. They got that sorted out that evening that we threatened them um, with legal. We got the email through where our supplier had been in contact with um, Pylon Tech and, and asking them questions about the battery for, for a little while and trying to get things done. Our supplier was actually trying to get things done, which was really interesting. Although they were ignoring our emails, they should have kept up in the loop. They were trying to fire our, our corner, and I can't go into details about it, but basically, Pylon Tech were trying to slither out of their responsibilities, and they were trying to do other things like moving the battery towards the end, and our supplier was asking, well, why do that? Would it not be better to put this on it first? And they said, no, let's try this first. So they wanted to try out doing nothing first, was what we were getting out of the emails. And our um, supplier, you could almost feel that he was reading BS and asking questions as it, and, and worrying, really, what am I supposed to tell the customer when I go back to him with this? That was the basic gist of the, um, the emails. The legal things worked. It's going to be going back. We've sent off our warranty stuff and we're waiting to hear back from that. So we haven't got a date yet for it to go back, but it's going back and it's going to have a new board or something in, in that nature on it. They don't seem to really know what was wrong with it, but it turns out from the emails that Parliament Tech were trying to blame us. They're trying to say a, a short was our, was something we've done, a wiring problem. And they were trying to you know, slither away, but he, our supplier was asking the right questions. Well, it was in a group of other batteries. It was, you can see it from the data, you know, it was the seven batteries and it was number six. So why did number six get, a, have a problem and the others not a problem or only six was affected by whatever it is. It's probably not even a short, it was probably um, just something in, in there that's not communicating properly and telling something there's a short happening perhaps like we've kept on getting and it's also weird that it only happens when it was getting around 70% and below which makes you think it's a computer problem really I've got to box it up and now they're trying to get it back out of here because it's in a, a hayloft so I've got this um, Victron heavy duty box it's got to go in and I've just got to pack it out because um, I actually uh, I did save a Pylon Tech box for a long, long time and then I can't remember what I've done with it. It's packed in. It's been a few days now since um, we heard from Pylon Tech about um, getting our battery, uh, but it's all gone a bit quiet. So it went quiet, and uh, we haven't heard anything about when they're picking it up. But they're generating a like a warranty thing, so we had to give them our serial number for our battery, and that's what they're doing. That's taken quite a few days, but in the meantime, Pylon Tech have seen our videos. The service is crap. Your ten-year warranty is crap. The batteries are crap let's put it that way. I would never get these batteries again. It's not good enough. We've kind of been poking at a big bear now for quite some time and they found it and obviously it's damaging. It's really damaging because no one wants to have to do the amount of work we've had to do in order to get things sorted out. This guy emailed us and he said he's seen the channel and he is going to get the battery sorted out. They're going to want to test it and send it back to us within two, it'll be a two week turnaround, which is good. Well, it's good for us. You know, I think if we weren't putting stuff out on 
YouTube uh, for thousands and thousands of people to see, then may, it wouldn't be as uh, as prioritised. But you know, because we've already waited nearly a week at the moment just to get for the, this other guy to get his warranty thing generated. So you know, but we're we're a bit slow at it at the moment as well because we've got a lot going on. We've got to send off a picture of the box that it's in for the delivery driver, and hopefully it'll get sorted out in two weeks. And it'd be nice to just put a under you know just put a line through this and just get on with stuff but we've got a uh, an email address for the UK pylon tech um, now as well which is, is is good so I was trying to contact China a lot of the time I don't know how long they've been set up in fact the email wasn't working and the guy messaged us that he said the email has not been working for a week they've had some issues but it'll be working so if anyone's got any problems with their pylon tech batteries there's an email address for them so that will be uh, handy hopefully for people and see how you get on and let us know how you get on with it because you never know if we put things out things might get done quicker if you're going to be successful in this day and age when you've got things like YouTube out there half of the, the problem is actually having a good warranty and a good customer service you know lots of people have got them and lots of people have had no problems I do feel that generally the product is good but when you do get problems, they need to be sorted out and, and also those niggly things like the firmware stuff that you've got to try and get hold of, even though you shouldn't really have to do it. It's all that sort of stuff that's that's holding it back a bit. But hey, it's gonna it's gonna be sorted out. It'll be really interesting what they say, you know, because if they put anything like new firmware on it, where's it you know, it should have to go at the front now of the battery that would be in the master battery. And it does make me worry about putting it as the master battery. You think, you think, oh God, I hope it's done right. We've got no problems with our batteries at the moment. They've worked the best they've ever worked. And, um, uh, you know, you can run them right down without any problems. And uh, it, that is really good. You know, just like a sigh of relief. You know, not going, oh no, we're going to get to 50%. We're going to have loads of error messages and it could cause more problems. That's what it was like before, continuously. And now you can run them down and you know there's not going to be any problems at the moment that's what we've been doing we've been and uh, it's been really good to have that but uh, obviously when it comes back and if I've got to put it as a master battery I'm going to be slightly on edge I've just got to be positive and hope that it, it's going to get sorted out the guy said it's going to get sorted out they're not going to want to have me film it go wrong and I will be filming it. I've got to film everything I do because if I have a problem, it's very easy to say something's your fault and I've got to have proof 